What is going on people? Welcome to your second WX Python tutorial. I bet you all are terribly excited for this because in this tutorial we are going to be making panels in our first button. That's what I'm talking about. And in case you don't know what a panel is, it's pretty much the container that's going to hold all your buttons and all your other cool stuff. So let's go ahead and we're going to be working inside the class that we built last time. So let's get um, inside this init method we just built. Let's go ahead and add some more stuff. So we have a frame built right here. But we want to build a panel as well. So in order to do that, let's go ahead and name it whatever we want. I'm going to name it panel so I don't forget. And set it equal to wx.panel with a capital P. And the parameter it takes is self. Bam, look at that, our panel's created. So this is pretty much, well, let's go ahead and add a button, then you'll see what it is. To create a button, what you do is set it equal to WX button, period, button with a capital B, and the parameter it takes is first the parent of it, which is panel. Now again, since this button is in this panel, that's why you have to write what the parent is right here. If you don't write panel, it's not going to be inside the panel, so make sure to do that. So after that, we need to give our button a label. And this is what the text is on our button. So what I'm going to want this button to do is exit the program. So I'm going to write label equals exit. Again, you can write whatever you want, but I'm going to make it exit the program, so that's what it does. The parameter after this is the position. So that's POS equals, and you write it to whatever you want the position to be on the screen. The first is the X coordinates, or left and right, and I'm going to have mine, let's say, 1, 130 away from the left hand side, and 10 pixels down from the top. So that's where my button's going to be, but we didn't say how big our button's going to be. So let's go ahead and do that right now with our size parameter. And let's say we want it um, uh, 60 wide by 60 tall. So now we created a panel and a button inside the panel that's going to say exit. It's going to be right there and it's going to be 60 by 60. It's going to be a square box. So now we have a panel and a button. But we don't really have any actions on them yet. So let's go ahead and and we have this button but we want to say alright when we click the button we want to exit the program right now we just have a button and if we click on that it's just gonna say alright you're clicking on me now what so let's go ahead and what we need to do to do this do to do this da, 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 is bind an event to a widget or bind an event to the button so let's go ahead and type self period bind and this allows us to bind events like clicks to actions such as exit the program. So let's go ahead and of course we need parameters. And the first um, thing we type is what, well let me show you, wx.event.evt, all in capitals, underscore, button. And this means the event we're talking about here is clicking the button. So now that we have an event, we can have an action. So what's the event? Clicking a button. What's the action? Well, let's go ahead and make a function called close button. Now this function isn't created yet. We're going to have to create that ourselves. But for now, let's just uh, say whenever we hit this button or call the event button, we want you to do a function called close button. And again, we want to apply this to the button. So go ahead and whatever you typed for your name up here put it right here and we also want to close um, the window whenever we hit X on the window so put self bind and in our parameters for this put EVT WX EVT underscore close come on keyboard underscore close and whenever we do this we want to put self uh, we'll name it close window or something so now, whenever we hit the button, it's going to make a function called close button. And whenever we hit the X on our uh, window, it's going to call a function called close window. 
but we don't have those functions yet so we have to write them right now so our first one is called close button and we want that to take the parameters of self and event and I'll go over that more in depth later but for now um, what I want to happen when I close this button is just to close this class so put self close and in parameters put true and now this is our function so whenever we hit the button we want to do this function right here so whenever we hit the button call self close button close button closes it and we need to build one just like this for what do we name this close window so close window and this is gonna of course take the same parameter self event and this one is a little bit different self destroy a little more violent so this is how you close it using a button this is how you close it using the window so let me go ahead and run this and then I'll talk to you guys through it one more time first we need to save it don't want to forget that hit F5 hopefully I didn't get any errors so the first thing I'm gonna do is hit this to escape it and then let's run it again and also when I hit X it escapes so let me uh, bring this up one more time and I'll talk you guys through it uh, where are you at? where are you at? right there so what we did in this tutorial is created a panel and this panel is the background you see the buttons right here the panel is what's around it now if you're saying why didn't you just put the button right in the frame instead of it having put in the panel and then the panel in the frame well it just organizes it better and in a couple tutorials to come you'll see why but after that we created a button with the label exit as you can see and the size was 60 by 60 as you can see this button is a square box 60 by 60 pixels next we had an event and we wanted to bind an event with a function so the event was button which means whenever we click the button and the function was close it so whenever we click the button it did this close this class and aside from that we also let me get rid of this we also made another event which is close the window and we had this destroy this class so again this is one way to close it this is another way to close it so that's your uh, quick tutorial on how to make panels and also how to bind events to well buttons or windows whatever you want and how to call a function whenever you hit one of these events so again you can make a function like say output something and then it would say whatever but that's for another tutorial at another day at another time. So for now, just play around, uh, create a couple buttons, write a couple functions, and I'll be uh, going over events in depth and also functions on WX in depth. But I know you guys were getting antsy and you wanted to add something, so that's just a quick tutorial. If you don't understand it exactly for now, then trust me, it's fine. I'll clear things up as we go on. But for now, uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and make sure to watch my next tutorial.